ni kama kulikuwa na mfutano wa yeye na maaskari wa huko akachukuliwa akarushiwa kwa dirisha ndio alipatana na mauti yake To my amazing people, my name is Ed Godiambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. And today, guys, I happen to fika my name Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. And I why I am why uh, the main reason why Nikoapa. The main reason why Nikoapa Nikwamba. Today we are receiving the body of Hannah Jerry and Baya Lipata Kufariki my name Saudi. And guys, I also shared the story on my YouTube channel. I think now it's four months down the line since I shared the story, but today I'm luckily and I'm so happy that uh, the family at large in Kwamba Watapata, you know, you know, to bury the, uh, their own daughter, Ambaya Lipata Kupariki, my nose Saudi. And according to everything that people talked about in Kwamba, uh, we are being seen people, you know, people have been dying mysteriously and everybody, I'm going question this. I think, guys, uh, we are receiving the body now. It may confirm me. We had uh, we had doubts because we were told sometimes uh, they might change the date of exactly when the body will be arriving. But today I'm so happy that uh, they have just confirmed that I'm willing to which is good. Also, we could not share this information out yet until we reach here, here and to confirm that the body is here because some of the time to court number one, willing to come, willing to But today we are so happy that uh, our sister finally am fika up and today we are going to come. We are going to come. We are Ana, 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 ana and uh, I think now the family at large in Kwamba work so happy guys. So guys uh, stay tuned on Durgas, uh, on Durgas TV here. I'm the freelancer journalist and we are going to have like a talk and also you know share some moments also with the family and also you know uh, check out everything that will be happening here. Tabi <laughs> Mother wa gari ameingilia kati sana na serikali yake ya vili ya muruto tuna shukuru sana. Mungu wa wabaliki na wangese guvu. Kuna hile matokeo ya kuonisha kwamba sababu na kini cha kipo chake ya dada yetu wapa. Ya umepitia ume, ume na mkona kwamba sababu ya kini cha chanzo na ya kipo chake ni kwa nini? Kidawa mini nikuwa nimesikia kujua na furugu huko odani ikawa hana, hana, hana milia mwa ni kama kulikuwa na mfutano wa yeye na maaskari wa huko akachukuliwa akarushiwa kwa dirisha ndio alipatana na mauti yake sasa hizi kuelezea tu mazishi inaenda kufanyika wapi mazishi inaenda kufanyika Elementaita hapo karibu na police station nyumba itakuwa ni lini tunaona tutaenda kupanga kama ni siku mbili maombolesi ama ni siku tatu kama Jumatatu ama Jumaine siku hiyo mbili
uh, zile matokeo ambazo zimetokea yani kuonyesha kwamba postmortem results ambazo zimetoka na mwili huko nini nini kama familia mmeridhika nayo ama bado mnapanga kufanya nini postmortem results zenu tumeridhika nayo tumeridhika eh okay asante sana eh jina naitwa Njoroge Daniel ama Dantos na mimi mfanyikazi katika ofisi ya mbunge wa eneo la Gilgil mheshimiwa Madangare ambaye amekuwa akifuatilia jambo hili la huyu mstana Hana kwa muda mrefu na amefuatilia hadi kule kwa bunge ameuliza maswali kwa bunge akielekeza kwa kamati ya usalama na vile vile kamati ya foreign affairs ili tuhakisha kwamba familia hii imeletoa mtoto wao na ndio waweze kumpatia the fitting send off kwa sababu hivyo kulingana na desturi zetu hata mwili ukiwa wapi ni vizuri na kwa sababu ya hiyo mheshimiwa madha ametia jitihada zake kama mwakilishi e, wa familia hii katika eneo lake la Gilgil na kuhakikisha kwamba serikali imeweza kufanya jambo ambalo linafaa na kuhakikisha kwamba mwili huu umeweza kuletwa yeah atumia pia kupitia zile postmortem results wewe kama mwakilishi wa wa mwakilishi ambaye pia amekuja kuwakilisha bunge hapa umeona postmortem results na umeridhika nazo au Uh, nimeangalia I think that the document is a bit detailed so I have not been able to cross, uh, to take on it the whole of it but uh, kuna sehemu ambayo nimeangalia mmoja ni barua ambayo imeandikwa na, na na wale the medical practitioners wale ambao walikuwa na usika huko na kwa ripoti yao wamesema kifo chake kilisababishwa na ugonjwa wa cardiac arrest uh, na mambo kama hayo ndio aliweza ku na mambo ya na magonjwa ya mafua. Lakini pia nimeona kwa hiyo report ambayo imekuwa detailed sana, nimeona kuna utata kidogo kwa sababu eh, nimeelezwa na wale wa wahusika wa familia wamesema alianguka kutoka kwa jumba la gorofa. So nikiangalia naona kuna utata kidogo, alianguka kutoka kwa jumba la gorofa, lakini ile report ya uh, wale wauguzi kutoka kule nchi ya, ya Saudi Arabia wanasema alikuwa na ugonjwa wa cardiac arrest. So sijaweza kuielewa vizuri. Yeah. Ujumbe wako kwa serikali, ujumbe wako kwa serikali sasa hivi unaweza sema nini kwa ya serikali kulingana na hiyo vitu kabisa ambavyo tulikuwa tukiziona kwamba wasichana wanafariki kwa njia ambayo haieleweki kabisa. Eh mi, kile ambacho labda nitasema kwa sasa eh, kwa sababu kuna wale ambao wanafanya kazi hiyo na ni sehemu ya kwamba kama mmoja ambao amekuwa akifuatilia kwa ufukwa karibu sana masuala haya ni kwamba bunge hasa bunge mheshimiwa madha wametia jitihada za, za, za hakika kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba serikali imeweka mikakati ya kuangalia wale watu ambao wanatoka hapa wanaenda kutafuta kazi kule ugaibuni hasa zile nchi za warabu kuhakikisha kwamba wanachungwa na pia zile makampuni ambazo zinawapeleka kule tungetaka e, serikali yake mikakati ya kujua takabadhi zao wanawafuatilia vipi wale ambao wameweza kuwapeleka kule kama kuna contact with their, na wale contact ya yule ambaye amepelekwa kufanya kazi na agent ambaye alimpeleka kwa sababu tumesikiza ya kwamba sehemu ni tofauti nchini hapa watu ambao wanaenda kufanya kazi kule wanapelekwa na agent tofauti tofauti na pia hivi sasa kuna katika ofisi yetu ile ambayo mheshimiwa madha anasimamia kule Gilgil na kama mwakilishi wa wananchi e, tumezipata changamoto kadhaa za watu ambao wameenda kule na wakapata shida wengine wamefanikiwa kurudi kabla matatizo yazidi na kwa sasa tuna mmoja ambaye amebaki kule ambaye alifungwa jela kwa makosa ambayo familia wanasema si makosa yalikuwa ya kufungwa jela lakini ni mambo ambayo bado tunajaribu kufuatilia. Tumeambia familia itusaidie na details ndio mheshimiwa aone kama ataweza kulifuatilia jambo hilo. So ni nafikiri kuna matatizo mengi sana kule na cases ambazo zimebaki kule ni nyingi sana. Ni vile tu labda hazijaweza kuwa reported zote. Lakini nafikiri kwa kiangalia uh, nchini wale ambao wamesafiri kule kwenda kutoka wasingishu, sehemu tofauti za nchi hii ni wengi sana ambao wameweza kuathirika. Yeah. Ningeongezea ni sehemu ya kwamba pia tunarudisha shukrani sana kwa serikali nchi ya Kenya kupitia mheshimiwa Madha Wangari. Tunataka kushukuru sana eh, wizara ya masuala ya kigeni na 
pia kushukuru hichi uh, kushukuru rais mwenyewe kwa sababu mambo haya hayaingeza kufanyika kama akunge kuwa na political goodwill ya leadership na kufuatilia mambo hayo kwa hivyo on behalf of the member of parliament we want to say thank you to the government and also to reiterate to the young people that uh, kuna mambo mengi sana serikali imeweka kuhakikisha kwamba si lazima tu tukatafuta kazi kule ugaibuni tuna tunatarajia tuko na matumaini makubwa na serikali ambayo imekuja serikali mpya ya rais William Ruto ya kuwapatia vijana nafasi za kutafuta ajira na zile masomo ambazo tunajaribu kuweka mafunzo ya, ya funi na teknolojia tukiwapatia courses kwa sababu wale wengi wanaenda kule ni watu ambao hawana hata courses so tunaomba eh, tukiendelea kupatia hawa vijana wetu courses zile skills ambazo wanaweza kujitafutia kazi mambo ya catering eh, eh, mambo ya driving eh, mambo mengi ambayo yanafanyika carpentry the so many courses tutahakisha kwamba tumeweza kutengeneza nafasi za ajira na tuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu hawasafiri kutoka hapa kwenda kule Ibuni kutafuta nafasi za kazi na tunajua kwamba tukiweza kuendelea hivyo tuko na nafasi nyingi sana za kuweza kuwapatia vijana wetu asante sana thank you